Hey, how's it going, Fred? Thanks for taking the time in your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, in this video analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where you are online, how much business, how much traffic your website gets versus your competitors, and show you exactly what we're going to do to get you to dominate and corner the market for roofing in Chicago. Um, so pretty much everything I'm going to be going over is a portion of internet marketing. Um, and that portion is the search engine optimization. All right, it's um, pretty much optimizing your site for Google searches. So when someone searches for a roofing company um, like yourself, they're going to find you versus your competitors. All right. Um, so as you can see, we're on my business site. My company is Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency um, that specializes in local SEO, um, and that's pretty much what I'm going to be going over here in the video. Um, so as you can see, we're on your website, American Bonnet Exteriors. Um, so as you may already know, um, Google is the most powerful, popular way to extract information from the internet. You know, um, over 90% of the population use it when they're looking for a product or service. Um, so to find your services, someone would simply type in roofing company in Chicago or roofing Chicago or anything of that nature, right? There's many ways, um, you know, and according to Google Keyword Planner here, roofing alone gets um, just 300, it gets 390 searches, just the word roofing in, in Chicago, 390 searches a month on average. Um, but overall, someone is looking for a roofing company, whether it be for a roof repair, or a new roof, or a re-roof, a roofing contractor, a roofing company, roofing company near me, there's so many keywords. Um, and I have them all here. I'm able to target and find out exactly how many times they get searched per month. Um, and it looks like around 25,000 times per month uh, someone's looking for you, your service, in Chicago. So as you can see, there's a huge potential, I mean, to, to corner a lot of this market. And we can rank your business in all of these keywords, all right? So huge potential, 25,000. Uh, what would you do with 25,000 leads a month? That's a lot. Um, obviously that's the maximum potential that's for 800 keywords here all right um, but most uh, you can you can get you can corner most of the market with you know 10 to 20 keywords a lot of them are just um, maybe less than 10 searches per month um, the bigger ones obviously is like roofing your roofing company roofing contractor um, but nonetheless I just want to show you that we can target all the profitable keywords for sure so um, to find your company, like I said, simply typing in Roofing Chicago or Roofing Company Chicago. Okay, uh, This is the most popular search right here, Roofing. Or if someone was located in Chicago, Google would know their location. Um, so if they typed in Roofing, it's going to give them all the relevant companies. So I could not find you in the Google Maps. And organically, I searched the, uh, up to 10 pages, I couldn't find you. So if you're not on page 1, you might as well be on page 20, because 96% of the population is going to click from page 1. All right. So let me show you what that looks like, since we're talking about clicks. So if you're ranked number 1, you get about 35% of the clicks. So that's organics. This is your organics here, your organic rankings, and this is your Google Maps. So 30 to 35% here and a 30 35 percent here so if you're ranked number one here number one here essentially you're cornering about 70 percent of all of the market for that one keyword search all right for this one search roofing okay which is 390 per month so do the math what's a what's three quarters of that you know nearly 300 uh, clicks to your website just from that one keyword search um, so huge potential there um, let's see so I want to show you how much business you get right now to your SE, to your website through SEO searches like this. Right now it's zero. Okay, SEM Rush um, is a fantastic tool that gives uh, Google and uh, tons of SEO marketers, um, you know, very accurate information. And uh, right now you're not pulling any of the SEO searches. So anyone just looking for the service, they can't find your business right now. Um, but I'm sure you know you're in business and you probably have a great you know uh, clientele base that has a great referral base so that's fueling the company and uh, any kind of advertisement you may be doing as well but as far as this process um, you know where most people are searching and most 
keep businesses are thriving from, um, it, you're not getting any searches. Uh, your top competitor in Chicago is uh, Lynn Home Roofing. So you probably know them. So they're ranked number one right here. And organics are number one in the maps. All right. Let me show you how much business they're getting. They're getting um, around 1,300 clicks to their website per month. 13, about 1.3 thousand. Okay, and that's up and down, but it's usually around a thousand. So, as you can see, you know, with the popu they're where the population's searching. Um, so that's the potential right there to to have for your business and to have that growth potential. All right. Um, so, how do we get you there? All right. So Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors. Um, I'm not going to talk about all 200 of them. I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Once we nail these, everything else kind of falls into place, all right? So the first thing I want to talk to you about is your physical website, all right? So 60 to 80% of people, when they're looking for that product or service, they're actually going to use their iPhone or Android. So your site has to be responsive to those devices. It has to be mobile friendly, okay? So for your website, it is mobile friendly, okay? It's one of the four key things. Um, I wanted to include it in here and just let you know this is on point, all right? So we don't have to worry about that, okay? So the next thing I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. So what Google wants to know when it's looking at your page, are you educating the consumer? Are you um, giving them information to read about your business, your company, and the services you're providing in the city that you're trying to make yourself mar marketable in. So for you, obviously, you want to be a dominant roofing company in, a company in Chicago, Illinois. So you have to mention all of the keywords, like I mentioned earlier, all these keywords, many of them, all these latent keywords, they have to be mentioned on your home page. Um, and you have to mention the city, Chicago, Illinois and then maybe the other surrounding cities to also target those as well. All right, and you wanna have at least 1,000 to 2,000 words on the homepage. So for your homepage, you know, just looking at it like if I were at Google, um, you have no content whatsoever. You have your name, um, your, your business name, uh, links to your social media and your phone number. Um, so this is definitely, uh, definitely Im negatively impacting you on your Google uh, ranks right now. Um, like I told you earlier, I couldn't find you at all on these searches. Um, so you're getting no SEO clicks to your website, and this is the biggest thing. Google does not have anything to uh, index your website in the rankings because you don't have any keyword research on the home page or any content. Now you have great, you have multiple pages here with some information, but it's really it's all about the home page. You have to be able to provide on the home page, okay? So that's the first thing that we're gonna do is build you out um, some great content, content with in-depth keyword research um, so that we can start ranking you for the keywords, all right? So once that's done, uh, let me real quick, let me give you an example of what authoritative content looks like. So I went to Google, typed an elephant, all right? Just bear with me, look what's number one, Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is notorious for being number one on these searches because of their authoritative content. Look at all the information on this page educational, you know, authoritative content with amazing keyword research on elephants, their evolution, their habitat, the food they eat, where they sleep, how long they've been around, I mean, everything. All right, this is probably like 50,000 words, um, but for what you're trying to do and the market you're in and the city you're in, 1,000 to 2,000 will be more than sufficient. All right, so the third thing I wanna to talk to you about um, local citations, we also call these uh, business listings, all right? Uh, these are very important to sort of get our name and information out there. Some examples is Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, okay? Um, when you do them, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number listed in all of them accurately because if not, Google's going to penalize you. So right now, you have a 99% error rate, okay? Um, and just looking, it looks like your site's not Google verified. So you, you're not even going to show up at, in the maps at all because Google doesn't even, you haven't even got, taken the step to verify with Google. So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to have to do um, as well is get you Google verified. And then, so these are the top 50 in the country, okay? You want to be in these, there's thousands, and we're going to get you listed in hundreds over time, all right? 
So a couple discrepancies. It looks like you have like the address not filled in correctly on this one. Um, there's no address here, you know, incorrect address here, and then you're just you're just not listed in most of them. You know, you have one correct listing, credibility.com. So that's what all of them should look like. So this is the very first thing that we're gonna uh, rectify. Um, you know, on top of the authoritative content, this will be the next thing that we're going to have taken care for of you and getting these 50 filled out first and then finding the next popular ones to list your business in. And we can actually figure out, um, we have tools to figure out exactly where Lindholm Roofing is listed as well. So we can list your business in their uh, citations and that's how we're going to kind of overtake the market and just do more citations and eventually, you know, build you up. We also do, um, this is on a side note, since you see reviews here, um, we do reputation online reputation management, so we're able to actually get you, um, you know, great reviews, uh, legitimate reviews, uh, to boost your business and to build more credibility with your customers and clients. So that's another service that we're that's actually included um, in, with the SEO. So the fir the fourth and final thing I want to talk to you about are um, backlinks. We also call these influence pages, all right? So say you have a client thoroughly impressed with the roofing, you know, maybe they have a, which I'm sure happens all the time, I'm sure you'll, you guys give a phenomenal service, but um, say they have a website or write articles and blogs on the internet, what's going to happen is they're actually going to mention you on the internet. Um, so anyone reading the article can click the link to your website and now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google takes this as a vote, all right? Google is a huge popularity contest. It's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more chances you are of winning, like, presidency, right? Um, so these are your votes. So right now, what's going on with these numbers in front of you? Um, the referring domains is saying that there's three websites mentioning you four times on the Internet, okay? And these could be social media links or um, guest posting or blog posting. But the most important thing is these referring domains and the, the IPs. These go hand in hand, okay? There's three of them right now on the Internet. And what Google wants to know is, with these domains, what's the quality of them? Are they high quality or are they low quality? And that's what your trust flow is, okay? So you have a trust flow of five. So let me show you this chart. So at a trust flow of five, you meet low quality, but you're not meeting medium quality, okay? So you're about right here, okay? And you have, this is very low, um, uh, a very low amount of domains. You actually want to have, you know, up to a hundred and over a hundred um, to be super competitive um, and you want to have them the trust flow 20 and 25 plus okay so what's great about my company is that we have unlimited amounts of um, referable domains to link your website to so you don't have to worry about this and this is the meat and potatoes this is what gets you ranked in organic alright so I want to show you what your top competitor looks like so I'm just gonna take his website and I'm going to plug it straight into Majestic here, and it's going to tell us where their uh, SEO is at. So here we go. Big difference, right? They have 111 referencing domains, 1,000 backlinks, and their trust flow is 16. Now, what I like about this is that their trust flow, it's still very low. All right, Even though they have about oh, over 100 domains, which will get you at... Um, you know, if we point five to ten high quality domains that are 25 and up, um, your trust flow is going to be off the charts. It's going to be nearly twice as much as their trust flow, and Google's going to recognize that you have a lot more highly authoritative, high quality uh, links and websites mentioned in you on the internet. So you're going to overtake this company. All right, so that's what's great about re re reverse engineering the competitor and showing you what we can do. All right, so um, so I paused the video real quick and came back on. I wanted to um, show you something I didn't have pulled up right away. I didn't want to take any more time. But um, So what you're looking at right now is one of our websites. Um, another service that we offer other than SEO, just to give you some uh, that another, another uh, backstory is we do lead generation. So we're able to build out custom websites in multiple cities um, in the lower population cities, like 50 to 350,000, and rank them number one very, very quick. 
um, because of low population and, and most companies don't target those lower areas because they want, you know, where all the leads are from, you know, Chicago, LA, New York, they want to be in those big cities, but they, they fail to realize that, you know, these surrounding cities of 300 and 400,000 people, there's people that need roofs there. There's people that need solar panels or need their car be cleaned or looking for a limousine service. Um, so, you know, if you're able to rank four or five uh, websites, you know, in two weeks in those cities, I mean, you could be pulling just as many leads as you would for the from the main city. Um, so that's another service that we offer. Um, so for one of our solar uh, energy clients, we build out this uh, solar, uh, Super Solar San Diego. Um, so I already put it in Majestic. This is the type of trust flow that we're dealing with here, right? So as I mentioned to you earlier, you know, all of our links are very high quality. So look, this trust flow is 33. It's completely off the charts. All right, so this is the type of quality links that you can be expecting. Um, sorry, this thing's popping up. Uh, that you can be expecting for your website, all right? And this is what's going to get you, like I mentioned, ranked very high in the organics, all right? So that pretty much concludes my analysis. Um, but while I have you here, I want to include a little case study information. Um, so I did show you, you know, this is the, the website that we did for the Super Solar. Um, and I showed you the, uh, the trust flow of that. Um, but I want to show you some... Uh, websites we're managing right now that we ranked on Google. So we have a, a huge used auto dealer um, in San Diego. Uh, they're ranked number three in the maps right here um, and ranked number one organically. So when we first got them, they were on like page three. You couldn't find them in maps. They were a 2.2 star service. Our reputation management got them to almost four. I got them to four stars. Um, got them in a three pack of the maps and number ranked in all of San Diego number one um, and they're pulling Incredible amounts of leads a month. I, think, I believe it's 2,500 I can actually pull it up um, But they're you know, they're straight killing it um, another another one of our clients <coughs> own a limousine party bus company um, and what we did is they actually wanted lead generation. So we built them out a lead generation site in one of the smaller cities that have like 300, 400,000, uh, population. And we ranked it number one in this city of Escondido. So it's ranked number one here, uh, in maps, I'm sorry, organic. And then it's also dominating the art, uh, the maps here. So it's the only, it's, a, it's just a one pack. It's so dominating. So real quick, I just want to show you um, exactly how many leads this and how many phone calls that website's getting ranked number one. Um, so since uh, January 10th, so this is a four-month uh, call report, it's gotten 806 phone calls, which is incredible. Um, and some other information I'm, I'm not going to pull up, but um, also emails. Um, you know, they've gotten, here, I'll just pull it up here. It may take a second to uh, update but just to give you an idea of what it looks like I'll go all the way back to January what's that 10th alright so it's gonna take a second to uh, generate actually let me go back here to my email so this is my um, my uh, phone program here um, it's called a game changer it can convert any online form requests you know any, every business you probably you have like a, a form request right you're asking for the clients information you know name number you know what are you interested in new roof or any email address well my program does it it's built it's connected to your form contact and every time someone submits you know an email through your form this program converts it into it grabs whatever phone number is on there and it converts it into an instant phone call to you you press one and then you're immediately connected um, so every after five minutes um, it, of uh, every five minutes that passes if you're able to reach that client within the first five minutes it actually increases your chance of closing them by 2100 percent after five minutes it goes way down so that's the whole point of it so um I mean, just as you can see, this is just emails in the past four months on top of, uh, it's so many emails, it's, it can't even uh, read it. Um, but as you can see, I mean, there's 806 calls, 
and you know if you, you see the emails that are coming through this is probably you know two three four hundred emails so I mean around twelve hundred leads in the past four months so just to give you an idea of what type of you know leads we're producing for companies it's, it's huge so what we're doing with SEO and lead generation is a very profitable service um, you know so if you're into the whole at also the Google AdWords and Facebook advertising you know we're Google partners um, so we can also set that up for you so um, again I appreciate the time you took to watch this uh, you know um, I really hope this makes sense for you and your company um, we would love to work with you and grow your business um, and provide you our, our services uh, what we do is truly adding to the bottom line and uh, you know really securing your business's future and uh, we're very passionate about helping uh, uh, businesses out and you know it, it's it's really hard to find a good SEO company so that's why we do these videos and be as transparent as we can um, so you know what we're doing you know where your investments going and you know what to expect so again uh, Fred I appreciate the time you took to watch this you have uh, my email my phone number um, please reach back out to me and we'll Go take the next steps on uh, growing your business, right? Again, thanks for your time. You have a good day.